Okay, the new compressor in Logic 10.1. Um, here I've got the electronic drummer Julian playing his default after party kit. Everything's set to default. Here's the channel, the stereo channel for the kit. And on it, there's a compressor. Let's open it. And here we are. This is the new compressor. And I absolutely love this new compressor. It's just fantastic. It's had this wonderful graphic rebuild. Um, so much easier to use. But it's also had a complete engine overhaul under the hood. It sounds so much better now. Um, just a great compressor. In fact, I go as far as to say that the compressor alone is probably worth the, the 149 British pounds you pay for the whole Logic program. I mean, you know, if this if this compressor with these different models, with the sound quality that it has, was released as a third-party plug-in, I don't think many people would bat an eyelid if it was um, 149 pounds. You know what I mean? Okay, well, maybe 99 pounds. But the point I'm saying is, it is a fantastic new addition. To logic with 10.1 so this is the new look and you switch between the different models with the buttons and each model has a different look which suggests it's it's modeling heritage so to speak or what it's trying to copy um, also we have this new classic VCA which appears to be based on a DBX 160 um, the studio fit effect appears to be based on an 1176 the vintage opto appears to be based on an LA 2A etc and generally speaking, you know, they have the characteristics that people might describe those compressors as having. Um, so let's start with this classic VCA. There's no compression happening now at the moment, really. Threshold's too high. So let's lower the threshold down nice and low, minus 35. So the signal's well over threshold. And when you move the, pra the, the parameter controls, you see the value that you're dialing in. The title changes to show the value and holds that for a while, then goes back to show the title. So um, minus 35 dB for the threshold. Let's set the ratio to 8 to 1. Yeah, I'm on 8 to 1 like that. And classic VCA, no attack and release controls. If this is the DBX, fast attack, warm, fat, treacly pumping compression. Yeah, I mean, listen to that beautiful, fat, treacly, warm, pumping, you know, wow, lovely. Uh, listen to the difference without it. Just fantastic. Now, notice, you know, this compressor, this model is peaking at around minus one. And let's switch to the Vintage Opto. Now, this appears to be based on an LA-2A. It's peaking at the same level. Um, and listen to the difference. It's, as people describe the LA-2A, it's got a lot of dynamics. It allows, it's, it's really, really containing that massive kick and pumping it like crazy. Uh, let's set the release, not to auto, but to 100 milliseconds. But there's a lot of dynamics going along going on in you know it isn't taking the dynamics out so much in the upper frequencies the hats and the rim shot they've got more dynamics so to speak have a listen and go back to the classic vca and less dynamics in the upper stuff but fatter and warmer Yeah, and then the studio effect here, same settings. Um, it's a bit edgier, as people might describe it, 1176, a bit brighter. And it's got, uh, uh, it's, it's giving a boxy upper bass boom um, to the kick as well, adding a little subtle edge of that. And the Vintage Opto, massive booming bass being really controlled, but lots of dynamics in the upper stuff, etc. Okay, and the Platinum Digital one, super precise, modern, um, not a lot of character. Yeah, 
it's, ca it's catching everything. It's super controlled. Yeah, but I absolutely love this compressor. I absolutely love it. In the middle now, we have this meter showing the gain reduction. But if we switch it to graph, we get this wonderful graph thing where the gain reduction meter goes up and down here, showing the gain reduction. And as it goes up and down, it draws in the gain reduction as a graphic showing the attack and release cycles of the compressor over the program material, which is represented as a graphic passing through the, the center, um, scrolling from right to left. Yeah, so you can see what the compressor is doing in terms of its attack and release cycles on the material. It's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely love this compressor. So we've got these different models and the different ones have different parameters depending on the model. Yeah. Or different additional par parameters beyond threshold ratio and the makeup gain. Some of them you know, like the VCA doesn't have attack and release, etc. Okay. The Platinum Digital can adjust the knee. The Vintage VCA, you can adjust the knee. And the Vintage FET and the Vintage Octo. Um, over here we've got the limiter section, um, which you can bring in if you want. The distortion here, this is usually on soft for all the models. And this is uh, how... Um, the compressor is reducing signals as they approach zero. Yeah, I mean, if we go back to classic VC and I turn this off, the signal is actually going over zero. And I can have soft, um, the, way, the way it's clipping, you know, the, this, as the signal comes up to zero, how it's being contained from going over, over zero. Soft, harder, or clip. And you know that that works whether or not the limiter's on. You've got the limiter as well. You can bring in with its own threshold and um, and the side chain here. This works great. It's so good to use it with these easy to use controls. You've got max and sum detection, and you can switch the filter into listen, and then you can listen to the side chain material coming in to the side chain. You've got a frequency and a frequency mode and a Q control and again, and you can absolutely tune in to the exact frequency range within the program material coming into the sidechain that you want to trigger the sidechain for the compressor. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Wonderful, wonderful compressor. Yeah, um... Let's just have a quick listen to it on this. I've got a, an Apple loop here of an acoustic guitar. And it's got a compressor on it. I mean, this is no demo, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, so look here, I, I'll have an acoustic guitar preset and then just apply those those parameters to the different models apart from the VCO, which has got no, no attack and release. So, yeah. This threshold here, minus 22, 3 to 1 ratio, and uh, 150 milliseconds release, uh, 80 milliseconds attack. That's actually in auto at the moment, so 150 milliseconds now. Take the kick out. You know, the, the, the compressors do very much have their own personality and they sound lovely. And that's before you get into really tuning them to the material even, you know. That's the channel compressor. Absolutely love it.